2006 proved to be an incredible off-season for all-star goalie Roberto Luongo, who began a new chapter in his life. We were in Venice, Italy. The day was absolutely gorgeous, and then we got on a gondola. It was really beautiful. We're uh, coasting down the Grand Canal, and he just turned on bended knee in the gondola and asked me to marry him. With marriage came an extended loving family that support Roberto and his career. This is my father, Umberto. This is Stephanie, my brother's girlfriend. And this is my brother, Reno. We're close to each other's family, and when he was uh, brought into my family in Florida, it was amazing because everybody fell in love with him, and he fell in love with everyone, and uh, it, it just didn't matter. It was like he had always been there, so it was just wonderful from the beginning. The most beautiful thing that had happened to us, which uh, we met with the owners of the, the Canucks, and he's Italian, his name is Paolo, and his wife, Clara. It was beautiful. I mean, everybody's Italian, everybody doing the high five every time he's, uh, we score a Amazing goal. People. And we were both shaking me and Paolo, and it's, it's, it's beautiful. We love him. We love him. After the wedding, Luongo geared up for the start of the season. But this time, found himself at the center of another new family. It's kind of like a burden was lifted off my shoulders when I came here. And, you know, it was a fresh start for me. Fans have been great with me, you know, the whole time I've been here, I've had nothing but positive uh, encounters with people. When you thrive in a hockey market like that, it kind of elevates your game and, and really makes you want to perform more to a higher level. I'm trying to make you look good in the shootout there, maybe they'll use you, right? Hey, thank me later! Especially now that we, we were on a roll here, you actually start tasting, you know, the playoffs and what could be. You know, it's really exciting for me, and I just want to keep it going. Or anything you do in life, I mean, you need your family behind you and you need to know that they approve of what you're doing and that they're behind you 100%. You don't have anything if you don't have family. Right?